Hey guys, it's Kay. Today I'm looking at a stylish case made for the Raspberry Pi 4 by Flerk. Now, everyone knows that the Raspberry Pi 4 runs hot and that dealing with this heat is very important as heat can be very damaging to electronics. So, in this video I'm going to be looking at the design and aesthetics of the Flerk case. Then I'll go on and test the thermal performance of the Flerk case by running tests on the Raspberry Pi in the case and without the case. Ok, let's take a quick look in the box. So, the first thing we see is four screws and some thermal compound. And now for the main attraction, it's the flirt case itself. Nothing else in the box, we'll put that over there. I really like the look of this. The silver body against the matte black looks really clean and elegant. With nice clean cutouts for your ports. On the bottom you've got your holes where the screws go to hold it together. And you've got some nice rubber pads. And here we've got a cutout for the SD card to go in. And on the other side we have our cutouts for the main ports. So four USB slots and your network connection. Let's pop off the bottom and have a quick look inside. So the top and bottom plates are made out of rubberized plastic. As you can see there's a kind of protrusion in the case. Now this is where the CPU of the Raspberry Pi makes contact with the case. Thus giving you the action of a passive cooler. Now just popping off the top plastic cover we can see this is a solid metal casing. So what you do is just line up the Raspberry Pi with the screw holes and just pop it in. Obviously this is a dry run without the thermal paste. A fit snug if I don't say so myself. Getting the Raspberry Pi 4 into a flirt case is pretty straightforward. The case comes with a thermal adhesive pad as mentioned before, and this sits in between the CPU on the Raspberry Pi 4 and the protrusion on the underside of the flirt case body that makes contact with the CPU. So this bonding of the CPU with the flirt case turns the metal of the flirt case into a big heatsink. Now I do have one slight niggle with this case, and that is the GPIO pins are hidden away inside the case and the lid cannot be quickly removed to provide access to the pins. Now Flerk has addressed this by making a small gap on the underneath of the Flerk Raspberry Pi 4 case, which could be used with a breakout input-output cable. Now this might not be an issue if you intend on using the Raspberry Pi as a desktop computer, but if you're a hobbyist, you're definitely going to need access to those pins. So now for the temperature comparison. I'm going to measure the temperature of the Raspberry Pi under load, with the case and without the case. Without the case and no load, the Raspberry Pi is running at just over 50 degrees centigrade. Now as soon as I introduce some load by opening up the browser and playing a video at 720p, it spikes to just over 60 degrees centigrade. It maxes out at 63 degrees centigrade at its uppermost level. Now with the case and no load, it's already running at a low temperature of 41 degrees centigrade. Bearing in mind I'm running the task manager here where I wasn't previously, so slightly more load than before. Now again I'm putting the Raspberry Pi under load by opening up the browser and playing the exact same video at 720p. Now bearing in mind we have probably more load here because we have the task manager open also. This temperature is already lower and it's hovering around 46. In fact during the whole test the temperature only maxed out at 47 degrees centigrade which is a vast improvement on the max temperature of 63 degrees centigrade without the case. So in summary the Flick Raspberry Pi 4 case works very well and it keeps the Raspberry Pi's temperature in check which is good because as you can see the CPU of the Raspberry Pi is quickly throttled with no cooling. So if you're looking for a case for your Raspberry Pi 4 that looks good and performs well, then the Flerk Raspberry Pi 4 case might just be for you. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.